it has been a struggle to live this life I call it a no barriers life to first of all just define what that means and then push the parameters as far as you can honestly a lot of times you feel like you're just failing it and bleeding it and I think a part of understanding this life is diving into the learning process this process of growth and change and transformation that we're all a part of and I know you know maybe I'm not supposed to say this because I'm the motivational blind guy but <laughs> But I hate it when tell, people tell me anything is possible. They're like, anything is possible. Anything is possible. I'm like, have you kayaked Lava Falls blind lately? I mean, <laughs> if, I, if anything were possible, I'd be a NASCAR racer, I'm sure of it. That's a fine phrase, but it undermines how hard it is to break through these barriers that want to knock you flat on your back as you try to live a life that matters. It was called the adversity advantage. And I teamed up with this brilliant scientist, Dr. Paul Stoltz, and we studied people and teams around the world. And we came away understanding that simply put, people fall into three categories. They're either quitters, campers, or climbers. Now quitters are self-explanatory. We're not gonna talk about them today, but campers are a fascinating group because they make up so much of the world. They're those of us who start out climbing as I think we all do with hope and excitement and optimism. And then somewhere along the way, uh, we lose belief in ourselves or in the cause. Or maybe we reach a nice safe plateau and we say to go any higher, it's just too much pain and struggle. I'm staying here where it's safe. Or maybe we try something and we fail miserably or we get shattered and that pain comes through us like a vibration through our soul. Climbers are a rare group. They're those people, if I could see, I'd be looking at a lot of climbers out here. They're those people who continue to figure out a way to grow and evolve and explore and challenge themselves every day of their lives until the day they die. So I think the question for us all is how do we climb? And there's one thing that has not changed since that very first time I went rock climbing, probably, what, more than 30 years ago now. And that's, and that's the reach. You know, I, I don't think it matters whether you're blind or not. I think we're all in the same boat. We're all reaching into darkness. Uh, all our measurements, all our data, all our algorithms, um, all our charts and graphs, software, we're hoping and praying we're gonna find what we are looking for, but we understand there is no guarantee. It's that moment when we've reached out, we've committed to it, our minds, our bodies, we know it's almost impossible to turn back. You know, technology can be frustrating, I know I'm preaching to the choir here, but it can be frustrating, but it can also open up doors and increase our capabilities and enabling us to do things we could, could have hardly even imagined. It, and it, it's such a pioneering world that we are so fortunate to live in. Whether you're, you're collecting billions of bits of data to eke out uh, ideas of what the future might bring, or whether you're seeing with your tongue, or whether you're climbing frozen waterfalls, it's all the same. I don't think it's enough to just solve problems or keep up with the pace of change. That just gets you further behind. I think we need to be relentless. We need to, we need to identify those adversities that wear us down, that make us feel like we're treading water but we're still drowning, right up to, to the most, the biggest, most complex adversities that are on the horizon ready to bear down on us. I think we need to square off with these things. It takes a very courageous team to square off with that storm, not to bury your head in the sand, but to actually walk into its very midst. And sometimes we're forced to do it. You either sum it together or you die together. It's your choice. But I think in an environment riddled with pitfalls, linking ourselves with great people, it's the best chance we'll ever have. I think for you, you're in the technology business, 
But I don't want you to forget that really, even as important, you are in the elevation business. You're always, all of us are finding ways to elevate our lives, our rope team, and the world around us.